The Ecology and Evolutionary Biology Language Project, which was founded by scientists in the US and Canada, wants you to know that much of Western science is rooted in colonialism, white supremacy, and patriarchy, and therefore, somehow, I'm not sure the connection, but we need to, to fix the words that we use to address harmful scientific terms. Yes, that's a phrase that they used. Harmful scientific terms. They should be identified and corrected. And in order to correct these harms, they suggest replacing the term female with egg producing because that's not offensive or something. No, really, really. They think that the term female is offensive, but egg producer isn't. Um, somehow. Please don't call me that. Um, not to mention, it's not the most scientific thing, because women don't actually, you know, produce eggs like chickens. Because that would be the another term you could use to not be offensive, according to this logic. You could just call them chicks um, or something. I'm not the one making this up. This is a real story. Um, and yes, egg producer is rather offensive, not least of which because you're reducing a person to their fertility and denying their innate dignity. But, I mean, it's just kind of shocking. And in case anybody hasn't picked up on this by now, yes, it's an attempt at, <laughs> at appealing to trans people and therefore, you know, which have blurred what a female is because everyone's confused about basic biology. And yet doctors need to actually, you know, know who they're talking about. Like, this is a woman, but kind of not really, not the egg producing kind. So it's not, yeah, that that's where they are because they can't actually just say, no, man is a man, a woman is a woman. And that's it. We're not playing with your delusional games because they can't say that we're back in the, the, we're back trying to find new ways of discerning between who's really a woman and who's really a man without offending anyone. And I'm sorry, but this doesn't cut it because color me offended. And by the way, if we're going to go with the whole egg producing thing, what are women who are past childbearing age? What are they called? Because if you consider women of childbearing age to be egg producing again, um, then they would be non-egg producing, but they're not functionally men. So, <laughs> I mean, imagine the conversation in like a doctor's office. We have a non-egg producing patient coming in. Oh, you mean a sperm producing one? No, no, not that either. Yeah, this, this is the, <laughs> this is the state of things. Um, and supposedly it's us who are anti-science. Sorry, but I don't think so. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.